Hi. Super tired. And super sore. Um, I don't talk about my illness to complain. Um, I just talk about it to bring awareness. That and a lot of my family members don't really know how sick I am. Even my friends really don't know how sick I am. Um, but I have circulose in my eyes. My eyes are sometimes red. And sometimes they itch. Sun really hurts me and my eyes. Uh, my vision comes and goes because of my eyes. I'm having circadose in them. I have circadose also in my lungs. The heat uh, makes it feel like I'm suffocating, like pillows being pushed over my head or a bag. Um, I have a hard time doing things. Uh, just cleaning my house, doing dishes, vacuuming, cooking, and sometimes even taking a bath and getting dressed takes a lot out of me. And if I do vacuuming and dishes, or vacuuming and cooking, or dishes and cooking, sometimes that's too much for my body to handle. And then I'm bedridden for seven days. This illness is very hard on all of us. And every, every day I'm in pain. Some days are just worse than others. I have brain fog. There's times I forget how to spell certain things or even simple things. Or I forget how to spell my name. Or remember my birthday or my address. Or my phone number. Or I for talk and I forget what was I talking about? Or what was I doing? Or why am I in this room? It's not because I'm 40 years old. It's not. I've been like this since I've had circadose. Started at 35. I also have circadose in my liver. And that causes my skin to be very itchy. Um, I'm always tired. Sometimes I'm so exhausted I can't even walk. It sucks. There's days that are worse than other with my pain. Where I have to take 10 to 12 baths a day. And then that still doesn't work. I have to keep my place between 50 to 53 degrees just so I can breathe right. Just doing easy things is hard for me. And try not to let family or friends know that I talk about it in my videos. Cause a lot of people don't even know that much about circles. They just think it's something that we can get over or it's not that bad or it's a joke we're not really sick maybe it's their way of dealing with it maybe it's hard for them to think or realize that how sick we are I don't know but if we get a cold or flu it can kill us coronavirus definitely would wipe us out scary very scary I lost teeth because of this illness I couldn't keep food down for three years and found out after you vomit you're not supposed to brush your teeth right away you're supposed to uh, wait a while I think the dentist said like 30 minutes or an hour and then uh, just rub uh, teeth uh, sensitive toothpaste on your teeth and then wait for 30 minutes and then brush it off 
so otherwise you work you uh, wreck your your teeth and that's what happened with mine and also I didn't realize uh, with that acid coming back up uh, I have to have my throat checked every three years to make sure I don't get cancer sucks um, because of my illness I'm on thyroid medication my thyroid was perfect before but now I'm on thyroid medication so because I have uh, hyperactive uh, thyroid um, and I'm also on meds so I can eat if I don't take them can't eat nothing will stay down then sometimes even then I have trouble eating This illness sucks for all of us. It affects us differently, but a lot of us uh, have it in different areas. Like with me, it started in my eyes, then my lungs. I've had it in my eyes since September 2015. I've had it in my lungs since April 2016. In my liver since August of 2019. Yeah. Now I'm supposed to have my liver checked every month, say with my thyroid, or my thyroid's every three months, sorry, every three months is my thyroid, and I haven't been able to have that checked because of the coronavirus, same with my liver, can't see my specialist, not my stomach one, not my pulmonary specialist, not my regular doctor because of the coronavirus, I can't even see my psychiatrist because of the coronavirus. I have depression, anxiety, and PTSD. I'm trying to deal with all of that plus this illness without a psychiatrist right now. It's difficult. But I try to stay active. Whether it be mentally. Can't really do much physically. I've been trying to get my place organize the way I want it but that's taken a lot out of me and I'm just afraid of wearing myself out way too much because if you do too much you're bedridden for seven days I've been bedridden where I was in bed longer than that I just want to have to sleep for 12 hours so I'll definitely scare my loved ones and I don't want to scare them or worry them. Sometimes you just can't help it. And this illness just sucks. Constantly in pain. <sighs> Some days are worse than others. But, you know, every day I'm here, I'm blessed. Even though some days the pain's horrible where I just want to throw in a towel. But you can't. Not when you got children. And friends and family that worry about you. But I really can't leave my children. Life is rough. We have our own little battles. On what we're going through. And dealing with. No one knows what the other person's going through. You can't look at someone and see that they have an illness. That's why a lot of the illnesses are invisible. Like mine. People just assume... I'm fat because I eat all the time or eat junk food or whatnot. Before, I cared what they thought. It bothered me. Being called fat or, oh my god, if I get that big, kill me. That's when I was 250 pounds. Or you could probably eat everything on this menu. Now that hurt. Now, I guess... My skin has gotten thicker. More it doesn't bother me. I don't care that I have vampire teeth. I don't care what other people think of me. Because I'm here. I'm alive. And I had a fight. Like hell. To stay here. And to be here. So I'll be darned. 
if I'm gonna let someone that doesn't know me, or even if they did, I wouldn't care what they think of me. They it wasn't positive, they don't need to be my life. Simple as that, life's too short for any of that nonsense. <sighs> All right, well, you know, even if you're healthy, live life to the fullest. Be happy as much as possible. Because if you're angry or sad, or not happy more times than anything else, then something's, something's wrong. Evaluate who's around you. Maybe you need to change your surroundings. <sighs> Just don't waste life. And you can never get time back. So just try to be happy as much as you can because no one's promised tomorrow. Alright, hopefully you have a pain-free day. And your day's better than mine. And God bless you guys. Bye.